Hey, Fozzie, guess what we're watching tonight? That's right, the gate! No, Johnny Depp's not in it. Th th that's the ninth gate. Th this is the gate, the, the one that used to play on HBO all the time in the 80s. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You remember what I'm talking about. Come on. Things were good, then they went bang. Now it's just Tig and his imaginary gang. So, Alf, this movie is about two friends who find a gateway to hell in their backyard. Well, no, it's not based on a true story. I... That's Glenn, played by a young Stephen Dorff. He's kind of a nervous kid. Mom? Dad? I'd be nervous, too, if I was living in a house with those open stairs. <sighs> oh, don't, don't go up in that tree for it. There's no way out. Oh, well, maybe it's safer in that tree house, I guess. I mean, if you're up in the air... <laughs> So his backyard tree fell during a storm, and they're getting rid of it. And it left that big hole in the ground. Crystal egg? Oh, the plot thickens, Alf. That's Terry, Glenn's friend. He convinced Glenn to dig a hole where the tree was to look for more geodes. There's got to be more down there. You know how much you can get for a big one? A hundred bucks. Well, it's the 80s, and they're suburban kids, and that's what 80 suburban kids did for fun. They dug holes in the backyard, and they listened to death metal music. That's why you call before you dig. That's nothing. Ah, yeah, it's nothing, Glenn. Toughen up. It's not like you're gonna get tetanus or unleash the apocalypse onto the world. Pfft. Terry found another geode. We're rich. So that's Al, Glenn's sister. Well, she was into model rockets, but model rockets aren't cool, so she's tossing them. But Al... Quit calling me Al. My name is Alexandra. Oh, yeah, and she wants to be called Alexandra. Glenn! That's Glenn's dad. He isn't too happy about Glenn and Terry digging holes in his boring backyard. So, Alf, the parents are going away, and Al, I, I mean Alexandra, is in charge. I'm going to be 16 in two weeks. You said I was mature enough to accept the responsibility. Well, she's almost 16. She doesn't need a babysitter. <laughs> what do you think, Glenn? Can you be trusted? I think they can be trusted. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this, this isn't a circus. That, that's what we wore in the 80s. So Glenn and Terry aren't allowed to party, so they're upstairs cracking crystal eggs. Oh, I'm sure that's perfectly normal. Look, I need some kind of marks. Aka. Don't read them out loud. Allah. Yeah. Will you guys ever do levitation? Right, let's see if we can levitate him. Oh, no, 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 Alf. It's just a party trick. We, we used to do this all the time in the 80s. Dandelions in the breeze. Rise. Oh, hey. That's, that's right. That was kind of cool, actually, but... Oh, oh, Glenn's upset. Poor, sensitive Glenn. Maybe I won't do that again. What the? Mom kind of smells like an old dog. <laughs> no, Alf, Terry's mom isn't a dog. He, he was hallucinating. He was 97. They don't live much beyond that. So that's Terry's house. Things are kind of rough for Terry. His mom dead and his dad always away at work. So Terry finds an outlet in his music. A gate! Behind which the demons wait. Huh. I think Terry found something. You got demons. So Terry's telling Glenn about the album. That's like the Bible for demons. Demon Bible. Breeders of chaos. Stop reading things out loud. Didn't tell you about the most important part of the ritual. The sacrifice. So as long as they don't dump a dead body into the hole, everything should be fine. abominations of darkness. Ah, too late, Terry, but it was a nice try. So Al's having her two friends sleep over. We're having a summer party. And you're not invited, so don't get all retarded on us. <laughs> Alexandra, what you Yeah, they're a bit sassy. 
Up. Yeah, Terry, wake up! Oh, there's Terry! I did. Oh, wait, well then, who's. Look out, bed hands! Bed hands! Ah! Where's those two dumb friends of hers? Oh, thank God their parents are home. Mom! Dad! You've been back! Oh, 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 God, go for the face! Go for the face! Oh, oh, stop, stop going for the face. <laughs> well, everything seems okay outside. Thank God Al went out there to check it out, because... Shut up, you guys. Oh! What? God, we're all over the place. Calling. Hello? You've been oh, Alf, this is the 80s. There were no cell phones. They're basically screwed. Deliver me from my enemies, Father in Heaven! Uh, maybe stop reading, Terry. Oh, it's, it's working! Hey, it's working! Get back! How it ends. The kids toss a Bible in a demonic hole and save the world. It's not alright! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. They're all gonna die. I wonder if we can still sell it. Here, well, catch. I mean, you might as well make money off the whole thing, right? Terry! Uh, oh, oh. Well, there's that old plumber. <sighs> I don't know, Alf. Maybe he's pissed he never got paid. <laughs> I guess he's taking Terry as payment. Oh, no! Come on, do something! Oh, for- Oh, oh God, Plumber's back! Oh, God, they're hideous! I... You think they're cute? Oh, God, what are you doing with that Barbie? Oh, oh, wall plumber, wall plumber. Great, so Glenn lost two people to the wall plumber. See, I knew those stairs were dangerous. Don't you have a lighter? It's the eighties. Everyone smoked. Oh, great, now there's a demon party. Oh, great, now they're dancing! No, 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 not good at all. Maybe the giant demon thing isn't so bad. Maybe he just wants a friend or something. Oh, no, no, not a friend. I hand. I hand. Well, Glenn, you helped usher in the end of the world. Great job, bud. What will Glenn do? <laughs> are back alive! And Glenn saves the world! Stay gold, Glenny boy! Stay gold! His parents are gonna be so pissed! The end! 
into a great movie. So, Alf, did you learn anything tonight? Never trust a plumber. <laughs> That's hard to argue. If your house has a demon hole, don't toss your dead dog in it.